Oh, good evening. I uh, just finished uh, Cimbalon, Cimbalon, which is uh, a little bit of education, uh, theological education at uh, St. Mary Church in West Lorne. And uh, something I've been wrestling with is, as I've mentioned, my anger. Um, it's been a crutch, uh, you know, something that's been holding me back through my life. Um, feeling dismissed, feeling hurt by others, and not knowing when the proportionate and appropriate responses are to uh, people being jerks. And today was a prime example. Goodwrench decided to try and charge my dad $1,300 to fix a Chevy Cruze that he bought brand new from Georgian Motors in Barrie, which has had an internal antifreeze leak since day one. Now, I put... 20, 30,000 kilometers on this vehicle when it uh, was last year. Uh, the vehicle only had 89,000 kilometers on it. There was a stench of antifreeze in the cabin. It was made known. It was made known in 2012 after he bought it. And yet still, Georgian thinks that it's somehow his fault. And of course, GM is not going to step up as they've decided to also abandon Canada from Oshawa. So what's this all have to do with everything? Well, I can forgive many things, but this is business, guys. Basic. You've had a family of people who have been loyal GM customers for years. I'm going to drive one home right now. We had a rebuilt factory transmission put in a 2011 Silverado that I'm driving right now that has nearly 600,000 kilometers in it. The tranny has maybe 10,000 on it now. But I can guarantee you this. Your decision to try and charge my father... 1500 bucks and render his vehicle useless for the next three days is unacceptable and will not pass. I will never drive another GM by choice ever again. You don't treat a loyal customer this way and expect no consequence. And that's mine. I will never elect to drive any product made by you ever again. When this is dead, it's dead. And my love for my first car was a, a sunbird. My affair, my love of your treatment of your customers is done. Thanks a lot. Please, make me eat my words. I'll apologize if you make it right. But you better do it. Because, you know, Dad's a retired OPP officer. He spent 32 years working for them. Driving Caprice and, you know, great cruisers that were made by you until you decided you didn't want police business and you let Ford do it. He's always gravitated back to GM. Don't know why. Felt a sense of loyalty to you, which you have obviously not repaid. So, business is business, folks. I think we're over you. Have a nice day.